All right, what you're currently looking into is Robocoder from blackbox.ai. This is an AI software engineer that is ready to take your instruction and complete the entire project, both front end and back end, within minutes. So, today my goal is to build a web based JavaScript game with it. So, this is my prompt right here. And it says build a memory card game or matching card game in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in this game. All the cards are flipped backside on a surface and two cards are flipped face up over each turn. The objective of this game is to match all the pairs of cards. Probably many of us have played it. Uh, the target is just to match and that depends on the power of your memory. How well can you remember the position of the matching cards? That's the purpose here. So I just hit enter and uh, it immediately said it has planned and now it's working it has um, uh, constructed few sub tasks so uh, let's quickly read it uh, so they say the description create the html structure for the memory card game sub task 2 is uh, style the memory card game using css to make it visually appealing sub task 3 description implement the game logic using javascript including shuffling the cards handling card flips and checking for matches and subtask 4 is test the memory card game to ensure it works correctly and is free of bugs all done uh, what next on the agenda okay so it is the planning part was uh, these uh, breakage into four subtasks and then it goes on it's actually very much working right now uh, it says let's start with the subtask one create the html structure for the memory game and now I will add the provided HTML. And as you can see right here in the code editor section, they have uh, already created these index.html. I'm just clicking on it. Awesome. So they have already included all the CSS, etc. Uh, all the emojis, which will be, I guess, the images that will be shown in the cards. Okay. And um, also in the terminal, I can see they have started a server on a 8000 port with Python. And actually their job is very much done. I can see that uh, it took probably for them uh, like one to one and a half minutes. That's all. And it has already finally has given me the um, live uh, URL where I can uh, play the game right away. So it says you can access a memory card game. But before that, I just want to quickly check what else uh, did it do. So um, uh, yeah, subtask planning and the HTML was built. Now let's proceed to the subtask four that is test memory game. Uh, so yeah, it has tested it and finally the server is running on port 8000. I will now get the public URL for you to access the memory card game and that's what it is doing here. So let's just click on uh, the URL. Yep, it opened a new browser tab and I can already see that it's actually looking great because right now all the cards are flipped and as soon as I click on a single card, it will show the image for a couple of seconds and uh, i have to match it see uh, these are not matching so as soon as two images are not matched they will flip back that's how i know that the game is working i think i just got yep i got one match so uh, that's a, a trick of this game i remember the first uh, mouse image was here and the next one i saw here as soon as you match two images uh, the they those images will be flipped to the front uh, permanently and your target is to complete uh, the whole game as quickly as possible and that will depend on how sharp your memory is all right now let's just go back to uh, robocoder and let's see what did it do in the inside the code and i'm just looking into the index.html file so they have done all the code right inside the single file all the javascript etc everything is here and uh, as you can see that they started with uh, defining the different emojis these are the different images uh, right here and the javascript logic here is something like this that create a card element and add click listeners and on card clicks flip card if less than two are flipped and add two flip cards array check for match if two cards are flipped and if a match, then increment the matched pair. If all pairs are matched, so win alert. Uh, that is all. And reset the flip cards array after, after the win. And the click listener are added during the card creation process. 
So each card div gets its own click listener that triggers the flipped function. And the cool feature is that the entire game I could run right away inside the browser. So it created these URL because they created a Gradio app inside the Robocoder. And uh, I could just run the entire thing uh, here. And also remember that uh, this is uh, this app that the Robocoder created. It is not only the front end because even uh, Cloud Artifacts also will create the front end. But the Robocoder created the back end as well. And that's the main advantages of Robocoder that it can do a lot of backend engineering work for you. For example, I made another video where I showed how uh, the third party API calling, which will not be allowed either in ChatGPT or in Anthropic Cloud, but can be done and executed successfully within a Robocoder.